Hey guys, I'm Tyler and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to build this cherry porch swing. As you can see, there's a metal frame to this guy and that is the second metal frame that we've had because there used to be a canvas and metal swing and we went through two of those. So I decided now it is time to make a wooden one and this thing is fantastic. It has been weight tested. Thank you, Sal. And it does hold up very, very well. I've got my plans for this porch swing right here. I'll link to those down in the description below. If you go get those plans, you also get a couple of one-to-one -one templates that you can print out that give you the curvature of the back and the seat of the bench for a nice comfortable chair. Let's play a little game here and pretend I don't have a bunch of cherry already milled up to one and a half inches, which mind you, it's the exact same thickness as rough lumber from the home center, which is the way this swing was designed. You can use two by fours, two by six, and one by material to make the slats. I had cherry on hand and I wanted to make it out of cherry. So that's what we're going to do here. We're gonna head over to the miter saw, cut those down to the length so that we can work with them and get those nice curvatures that we just talked about. These are the bottoms and the back of the bench. They are our two by six, remember the game we're playing. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue down the paper template to one of these. We'll cut it out on the bandsaw, clean it up on the isolating spindle sander, and then we can use that first one that we made to trace out and then router copy to get exact copies for all the other four. So there's four of these supports total, eight pieces all together. Over at the bandsaw to cut those profiles, and I do have a 3 8 inch hook blade, so we'll get a nice quick cut, but it will be pretty rough and we'll have to clean that up on the spindle sander. So I've been thinking long and hard how I want to make these notches in a way that's easy and in a way that is repeatable. What I came up with is using one of my new Speedforce spade bits and drilling in each of the corners of these notches. Then I can get right in there with the bandsaw, cut that nice and flat, and then because I have those holes there, that'll allow the router bit to get up there when I duplicate these using the router and this original one as the template. We have our master base structure cut out here and sanded down to exactly what we want. As you saw when we cut these to their rough dimension, we left a little bit there and we are going to use some painter's tape and some quick acting CA glue to turn this into a template and cut this exactly to the size we want over on the router. I'm going to use the table saw with a dado blade on it to dado out half of each of these supports so that we get a beautiful fit like you see right here. Do you need to do this? Absolutely not. You can take, if you use two by sixes, simply bolt them together like that and you will be just fine. You will have to make a slight modification to the way that the handle attaches, but that is no big Deal. If you're going to do the dado, we got to start out by marking where the dado actually needs to be. This is on the plans, but it's actually just a little bit easier to use the pieces themselves. We need to do it on the back support and flip them over. And we need to do them on the bottom support as well. To 
to assemble the back supports, I'm going to be using some Tight Bond 3 because it's waterproof and some one and a quarter inch deck screws. And I am going to pre-drill just to make sure we don't ruin any of our hard work so far. The wife often teases me that if audio was shut off, you would be able to tell what I'm talking about because I am Italian and I do use my hands like a champ. So I'm going to leave it right here and assume you guys know what I'm talking about. We're going to put some eye bolts in to the cross members of the seat of this swing so it's going to be super strong. Drill a hole, mount those eye bolts, and the chain is going to go up through the hole that we had previously drilled in the arm of this swing. Then we're going to whip out the router, we're going to put a nice little round over so we don't get any splinters in our arm, and then do some really, really boring sanding, but it does make the wood super soft, as my son does say. Then, even though we do have some audio back, I'm going to keep on going here, and we are going to put some spray marine varnish on here from Total Boat. This stuff is called Lust. It is nasty to work with. you got to use xylene to thin things out, and then we're going to use the Fuji Q5 Platinum to apply some finish and make sure you have an organic carbon vapor respirator on because this stuff will knock you down and fry some brain cells. We will use these chains that I'm putting on to connect to existing hardware that is on the metal frame, which by the way, this original swing did come from Ace Hardware, and we did get two of them, but like I said, the canvas swing just never held up. You won't be disappointed in this one, guys. This is very, very sturdy, very comfortable, and with that marine varnish on there, this thing is going to last a long time out in the sun. Well, there we are, folks. That is a wrap on the porch swing. We have put this thing to very good use, especially it's getting cooler in Michigan yeah. in the evenings, and it's very, very wonderful to stand out here, to stand out here, to sit out here during the evenings and enjoy the day. Again, there are plans for these linked down in the description below if you would like to build this. 
you won't be disappointed. It is very nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hammer that thumbs up button as it helps us out and gets this video in front of more eyes. I'm DIY Tyler, the wife. wife. You guys have a good one.